Good day everyone. Learn how to clear all cache from Windows 11 laptop or desktop and make computer faster, free up space and better browsing speed. All right, so the very first thing here is to click on the search icon and type run and then click on open. So the run window will appear and here we will type percentage temp percentage and we will click on OK. So this is the location where all the junk, the temporary location of the junk stays. So you need to select all. So by pressing Control A and then press Shift Delete to permanently delete all these. Few of the item will not get deleted. Not a problem. We will skip that. Once this is done, we will move to the next step. So there is another location where the temporary um, junks are there. So we will type run again and we will open the run. And this time we will, we will only type temp, nothing else. T-E-M-P temp. And then we will click on OK. And we will select all by pressing Ctrl A and then Shift Delete and hit enter and some of the files may not get deleted that is fine we will check mark and we will click on skip once this is done we will move to the next step and that is the disk cleanup utility so we can search disk cleanup you will find disk cleanup and we need to select the c drive or the drive where the OS is installed and we will click on OK and make sure you check mark all check mark for recycle bin if you wish so I have selected all and since it's a very clean computer it doesn't have much junk so once I'm done with the check mark I'll just click on OK and I'll click on delete files once it is cleaned to free up more space, we need to delete the Windows update files, which is already updated in our computer, but their leftover is still there in the computer. So we will go to File Explorer. We will go to C Drive. And then we will go to Windows. And then we will look for software distribution files. So here we have here we have software distribution. We will do a double click on that and then we will go to download section and here you will find the windows update files which is already there in your computer so you don't need actually if i go to the properties it is not much but in your case you might have in gbs so we can simply press shift and delete and this will be cleaned it will also help you update your windows whenever you want to now the final one is one of the most important one which is the storage sense and we will type storage and you will find storage settings we will click on storage settings and here we have the storage management now this storage sense should be turned on automatically free up space, delete temporary files, and manage locally available cloud content. If we click on that, we get another window which says keep windows running smoothly by automatic cleaning. So we have turned the automatic and you can turn on this every week or every day or every month according to you. How many days, for how many days you want recycle bin to be cleaned you can select one day or 14 days it is up to you and you can also run the storage sense we will go back to the storage and now we have the cleanup recommendation that is also good and we will click on that here you can go with the download section you can check the download folder system recovery files so i have already checked my download folder and I will clean up 5 GB of junk which is sitting there. I mean, I have downloaded it and I don't need anything now. So I have checked already and then I have 
cleaned up. So it is also freeing up the space for us and we have enabled the automatic storage sense. So it is actually very good for the computer and you can go with other things like large unused files. You can check how many files you have. Do you need or not? You get the sorted version files or videos or folders, which is taking more space will show you up here and you can check it out. So this is how you can clear all cache and free up space in your computer. If you find this tutorial short and helpful, if this video has given you, you a value, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and please leave a comment. I'll be glad if you do so. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.